today I'm going to review with you on how to set a closing date in both QuickBooks Desktop and QuickBooks Online. Hi, I'm Gisela from Infinite Book Equity. And if you haven't been to my channel before, it is focused on empowering small business owners with the knowledge to be able to make the best investment in their business. So you might be asking yourself, why do we close the books or why should we close the books? Well, closing the books is very important because it keeps us from altering any information that has already been submitted in a report. Or if you have reconciled, for example, the month already and everything came out smoothly, worked out smoothly, you don't want to go in there and accidentally erase something or alter any information. So closing the dates is very important for that reason because it keeps us from altering any information accidentally because at the end of the day, we're human, right? So we can create mistakes. I have done it. it ha it's happened to me many times and that's why I close my books monthly. Every month I go into the system and close the last month that I just reconciled so that I don't go in there and accidentally create a mistake. It's more important at the end of the year when we close the books and we submit those reports to the accountant so that the your tax returns can be submitted. Of course, when taxes have been submitted, you don't want anything to change from what you have submitted with those reports to what is being uh, what the IRS will see if in any case, if at all, you are ever audited. So we are ready to close the books and we are in a sample company inside of QuickBooks Desktop. And in order to close the books in QuickBooks Desktop, we are going to go up here to the toolbar where it says Edit. We're going to go down to Preferences. And on the left-hand panel, we're going to choose the first option here, Accounting. Under Accounting, we're going to choose the tab that is labeled Company Preferences. And all the way at the bottom, under Closing Date, we're going to choose Set Date and Password. And here where it states closing date, as of that date, we're going to close the book. So that means that anything before this date, we would not be able to alter without a password because we are going to set it with a password. So for example, say we're closing the year. And of course, my system is a little advanced here. We're in 2022. So we're going to go ahead and close the future books, right? Just for example purposes, we're going to leave, going to leave the date alone. So we're going to go ahead and close the year. We're going to choose December 31st. So again, anything before December 31st, we're not going to be able to alter without a password. And here we're going to indicate closing date password. So choose a password that is going to be strong and secure for your system. And we're going to hit OK. And of course, I already forgot my password. Hit OK. This window is popping up for me because this is a sample company. So we don't have a username and password to log into this um, file, but I would hope that yours does have a username and password. So that's what it's indicating to set the username and password. And then from there, you'll hit, um, you'll continue to the next window. So this is how you would close the books in QuickBooks Desktop. Now I'm going to show you how to close the books in QuickBooks Online. So same reasons on why we are closing the books as of QuickBooks Desktop. We want to close the books so that we will not alter any information. We're going to go under Account Settings. And in Account Settings, we're going to go to Advanced. And right under Accounting, so right here where I'm pointing, Accounting, it's going to say close the books. So we're going to click on close the books and of course indicate all businesses, not all businesses work on a fiscal year. So if yours doesn't, you would indicate this right here. So we're going to leave this alone because we are working with a physical year company and it is an accrual basis. So you can indicate this information here as well in QuickBooks Online. Over here where it says close the books, we're going to click this little knob here. We're going to indicate the closing date. So in our example, we're closing the year. So we're going to choose December 31st. And again, this indicates that anything before December 31st, you cannot alter unless you have a password. Now here you have the option of either 
just getting a warning when you're altering something in the books, I recommend that we choose the option where it will pop up but also require a password. So we're gonna enter our password. And of course, we try to make this password as secure as possible. And I would recommend, like I indicated earlier, it to enter a password because especially when we're ending the year, we have already re, uh, submitted our reports with that to submit our taxes, and we don't want to alter anything that's going to change those tax forms because if we change anything, then we would have to submit additional documents on why our information is being altered or in the future, God forbid, we're audited and things don't match up. This might be the reason why. So it's very strongly recommended that we close our books and you don't have to do it yearly. You can also do it monthly. I personally do it monthly. I hope that this video was very informative to you and was able to help you on why or how to close the books in both QuickBooks Desktop and QuickBooks Online. So please hit a like to the video, subscribe to my channel, and let me know down below in the comment section what you are interested in seeing, what challenges do you face when you are working in your accounting software.